What's going on everyone? Milky here, back again with another one. Today we're looking at a specific deck which has really just recently snuck its way into the top two tiers of decks in Marvel Snap. Now these are, this tier list or this meta deck tier list is put together by Marvel Snap Zone. It's an amazing resource where they aggregate a lot of data and they're able to produce things like meta deck tier lists based on amount of games played and win rates and things like that. So it's an awesome resource if you want to check it out. Uh, this deck is a Lockjaw deck, which makes me so excited because Lockjaw is just such a fun card to play. But this deck is a great answer to some of the highest uh, rated meta decks that are out there at the moment. It actually has really good matchups into them and does very well in that right. So let's take a look at the specific deck and see why it's so good. All right, so this is the meta deck tier list on Marvel Snap Zone. It lists out some of the best decks in the game or currently in the game. We've got, you know, Zabu decks just dominating at the top there. We've got Zabu Dark Hawk. We've got Shuri Zero, which is a big Shuri list. We've got another Zabu kind of Dracula kind of um, mix, uh, which has been really good in there. We've got Serical Surfer, which everyone kind of knows about from the previous season as well. But then coming in at number two, and very, very interestingly this week, we actually have this Lockjaw on reveal deck, which came out of nowhere. Um, but I think a lot of people are returning to the Lockjaw because it is a good answer to some of the best decks on the ladder at the moment. Um, Howling Minds actually did a recent video on the meta decks, and he talked about how Lockjaw is potentially a great answer for some of these really high roll, massive power decks. And honestly, Lockjaw decks are one of the ways that you can actually deal specifically with Dark Hawks and, and those kind of things in the meta. So I really, uh, really love Jock Lockjaw coming back, finding a place in the meta. Don't know how long we'll be here for, um, but uh, we wanted to check out that, this specific list. All right, so this is the tier two Lockjaw on reveal deck, and I'm, I'm really liking this list. It's not, doesn't have all the inclusions of my standard Lockjaw list, which I've run for a very long time, but it's got some really interesting ones like particularly Nightcrawler and Vision, which I really like in this deck, actually. Not only can you roll in Nightcrawler into Lockjaw and roll into something bigger in your deck, ideally, but if you do roll into Nightcrawler from something else, you can easily just move him off the Lockjaw location and make an additional play there. I really like Nightcrawler here. Vision kind of does the same thing, but is a stronger power push and gives you much more flexibility in those final turns. Other key callouts in the deck is obviously the awesome Thor and Jane Foster combo. Then we've got She-Hulk in there as just a way to float some energy some turns and being able to really utilize her power there while potentially rolling into some high stuff on the final turns of the game as well. I think this deck just kind of rounds out really well and we were super excited to play it. Stick around, we've got some gameplay coming up. Let me know if you enjoy these type of videos where I'm checking out meta decks in the comments. I'm going to jump off for now, but until the next one, I'll see you then. Thor's just looking like a solid play right now. Without Lockjaw, I guess we um just push down the Jubilee route, randomly drawing something, I guess. I think everybody's going to be using this card back. It's a sick card back. Can't, can't blame everyone for that. Right, the Lockjaw, I was going to say Lockjaw one time. I'll do this to lock down middle. I really don't want Vibranium in our deck yet. When you've got the hand, it's okay to, uh, it's okay to have Vibranium. Okay, now I'll... It's only turn four. We'll have two turn sixes if I play into this. You know what we can do? We can just do vision. And we can move it. Is that is that like awkward though? I like doing it this way so we don't roll into Nightcrawler. I'm going to do this. I'm like unsure if I want to put Vibranium in our decks, and when you play Lockjaw on a location, you put so many like Vibranium or Rocks into that, it just becomes awkward. Okay, Magneto worked out actually perfectly for us, so we'll be even on energy here. Is this a Shang Chi? Oh, and we okay. This is nice. This has been some beautiful rolls. 
That's how you got to play his deck. You just kind of got to freewheel it, you know? You just got to freewheel it. I think Vision here is just the odds-on favorite. Just too good not to play. Vision or skip. Because we had Wasp and Mjolnir, we could have skipped. But I think Dracula on the final turn is just going to be good. The question is whether we... We do the Dracula or do we just do the Chavez and play two things? You know? Could, he could Ultron. He Ultron's right here. Just Ultron here. Everything's um, pretty buffed. It's uh, goes up by three. Hmm. Gets 12 here. He actually wins here. With Ultron. I'd need to do this. It's 21. He wins here with Ultron then. What do you want to do here? Definitely do this. Definitely do this. Maybe do this. That way we still win middle against Ultron. Right? Yep. I think this is going to be the play. D Ultron or Doom, I guess? Ultron. Okay. No, we, we win. We win. We calculated it. Victory. Wasp locked your own hands. Always. You always love to see that. Mia Island's probably going to be our locked door location. Alright, we'll go ahead and do this now. Okay, so we get a leader. Hopefully, I don't get to a spot where I'm going to need to play that. Cerebro. Okay. That is an interesting Cerebro. Um, it must be... It must be a high Cerebro deck. Like a high number Cerebro deck. Because... Why else would he... Like, this has got to be Mystique then? for not okay so it has to be a pretty high cerebro number otherwise he gets himself in a little bit of trouble um so i'm thinking we do we do jane here thor on the final turn If you do this, and you skip one, stays at five. It's not ideal, is it? I think this gives us the opportunity to roll something into um, into Lockjaw again. At least, at least that's my plan. And we and we end up with a ten Thor, anyways. So, very okay. Right, so it's Cerebro 6, by the looks of it, which is interesting. So we do we do this, actually. We can... So Cerebro 6, 10. It's two cards here. We've got to assume he's not beating us middle. This goes to 11 here. We've got 18 here. Could also just double down and just try and win. We just try and win big here. Maybe this is actually the play. Instead of trying to play all locations, we just double down here. I think this actually might be the play. Place the might of 
How does he win by playing over there? What is this gonna be? Hella. But I thought I thought about Hella for a second, but he did discard his Mr. Fantastic. It's like Hella? Cerebro 6 was Hella? This is a crazy deck. What a sick idea though. Right, so we got uh, Monster Island as well. His Bast can be pretty impactful. I think we, I think we just roll our Lockjaw out now, and we just see, we just see what happens. We just go for it. Okay, flip Dangela. Not flipped, but you know, you know what I mean. All right, so what are we, what are we working with here? What are we working with here? We got uh we can do Dracula, which is actually a very solid play. I think I'll just do Dracula. Be a little bit more energy efficient at the moment. Okay, so we almost we, we gotta think that we probably have left location. At least close to it. Um Man, awkward turn, hey. So we can do vision here. I actually think vision here ain't bad because then we can do two things next no next turn's turn six so well not turn six but six energy i think we just play vision just be just try and be a little bit you know wary of our uh, the energy that we have all right so we gotta think we can beat that outside of a blue marvel or something uh we can go in here Oh, Nightcrawler. Question is, do I even play Nightcrawler? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. This will cost zero next turn. If we don't play Nightcrawler. Look, we could also just play nothing this turn. And we can actually play all these cards on the final turn. Which is kind of, kind of insane because of the super flow. I'm going to do that. And then we can guarantee all of the power hits the board. Okay, that's a big iron. That's a big iron man buff there. Okay, so we can um, we can guarantee our Dracula hits Chavez, and we can play every card that we have. So do we need to roll here? I think we we definitely roll this in here. Thing is, do we need to move this? This is 29 just as is. 38. Wondering, do we even just go off the middle location at all? Maybe it's better to do this. 18, 19, 20. It's like hardly even worth it. Maybe maybe this is just a play. We just add like 32 here and potentially go big here. I feel like I'm just worried what he's going to play here. Silver Surfer. Ironheart. Ken gets so out of control. Just with Iron Man, Ken gets so out of control. So we definitely made the right choice here. Although we probably could have figured out how to beat um, 44 power. I think this was just the safer play in the end. And it's looking pretty good. Mid game is gonna come in, come in hot. Rock, we don't ideally wanna put rocks in our deck. Rocks are very scary for our deck. Rocks can be very scary for this one. Okay, so we have the... The thing is, do we get Thor back if we roll him in there? We could also just do this. I'm going to do this. Looks a little weird. But I think this really can potentially help us later on. Especially with, with Lockjaw there in hand. 
Okay, drawing uh, Jane Foster is just great. We could we could do this, could do this, but it seems like overkill because we need to win a second location. So I think I'll do this. Okay, so he goes for his jubilee. Interesting. Okay, that's kind of awkward. Kind of awkward. Um. Oh, we don't we don't want to draw them. So we draw first, and then we just roll two things in. I mean, is this ever good? Is this ever good? Could also just do like this: roll one in. I think I'm a, I'm a bigger fan of rolling one. We draw our Mjolnirs and our Wasp. Does fill up our hand. Okay, slightly awkward. Get our Chavez, which you know it's decent. It's decent. He draws nothing from his deck. And then, so he's got a backwards version of what we're doing. So, okay, so we've definitely won this. We just make the biggest Thor possible, I think. Um, because we want to. We can roll this in. Should we want? And then we just... Uh, Magneto? Maybe what we do is we keep Nightcrawler here. So we just do this. We'll buff Thor up. And then we'll throw Magneto middle. I don't think Dracula's worth it. We have a, we have a decent roll with Dracula, but I, don't, I just don't think he's worth it. Get 23 in New York. I'm going to pull some things as well to middle. I thought it was going to be just <laughs> just a chunky boy. Unless he has a Shang-Chi here. Then we're, we're very sad. Just pull everything middle. Okay, okay. Giganto. Oh, didn't quite cut it. And then we disrupt the Lockjaw roll. Love to see it. Beautiful trifecta. Gamma Lab's always awkward, but I am gonna I'm gonna throw Carnage in there. That's actually a great card to get for Gamma Lab. We'll just just kind of just throw that in there. I do want to win another location here, so I'm thinking I do. There's always a, this is always a tough decision whether you want to double up on the Hulks, try and keep pace. Because we don't run a Shang-Chi in the deck. We might have to try and keep pace. Usually I wouldn't do this. But I am going to. Tells me that he might have a Shang-Chi. He very well could. Okay, so... I think we play Thor here. This feels like a Thor play because... Because I want something to roll into Lockjaw here. Jubilees are just a great top deck there. Probably one of the better top decks we could have got. We potentially could have held Jubilee for six. Maybe playing uh, Jane. Jane there is just better. Hmm. Okay, Nightcrawl is actually a little bit unfortunate. Okay, so he doesn't actually have to add a lot there to make some good stuff happen for him. Maybe I keep this here, actually. This pulls silver. This pulls Mr. Negative over. Doesn't really help us. This pulls all of these broods away, which helps us a lot.
But I'm wondering how we win a second location. Maybe we want to pull broods over here. And we're going to be able to pull two broods. This is a very awkward final turn. Okay, we're only going to be able to pull one brood. Yeah, we're going to lose this one. We um, we probably shot ourselves in the foot by moving Nightcrawler. If we just keep Nightcrawler here, I didn't really think he would play into there as much. Location. Oh, that's a nice... Uh, is this a... Wait, is this a bot? I thought the sunspot was cool. Oh, no. It's not a bot. It's just someone with a really nice uh, collection. That, that gold armor is... Uh, is uh, an assault on the eyes. Okay. Who are we going to play here? Jubilee actually kind of cracked for the raft. Jubilee actually cracked. I don't know if we need the raft, but I'm, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it and see what happens here. Spider -Man here. Classic Spidey play. That's alright, we don't need it. He's going to... He's going to... Definitely have wanted that Shang-Chi back. Definitely gonna want have wanted that Shang Chi back, eh? Um, we'll just Dracula here and we'll Nightcrawler. Yes, doesn't really matter. I think we we just play Jane next turn. Doesn't have an Odin, does he? Moon Girl. Okay, so he's resided to losing that, which is nice. Uh, we can play this. We can uh, get it back. It's kind of sick for Thor. So we can do... Wait, what am I doing? What am I talking about? Get it back. We don't have Lockjaw. <laughs> what am I talking about? Um, we can just pull things mid, right? Can We can even just clog up this lane. Which is maybe even better. Maybe just do this. Galactus. He got Galactus as his uh, card. I mean, we have a shot as his raft card. That's alright. We have a shot here. Okay, so we have a 50 50 shot. We have a 50-50 shot. <laughs> we get the retreat anyways. 